Hi everyone, the hero we are introducing today is Kilgroth. Kilgroth is a strong warrior from the ocean. Every normal attack will increase his attack speed, makes his attacks as ferocious as the waves. Passive, the Fanatic. Attack speed increased for each normal attack can add up for 8 stacks. The third normal attack will have a larger attack range. The Fanatic can only be triggered when a target is hit and will last for 3 seconds in absence of normal attack. First Ability Sea Spear Kilgroth charges forward, dealing physical damage to enemies along the path and slowing their movement speed. The cooldown will be reduced when it hits enemy heroes. Sea Spear have a pretty long cooldown, so it's better to keep Sea Spear to the end of the fight to chase down the enemy. Second Ability Enraged Spear After learning this ability, Kilgroth's third normal attack will deal an additional magic damage. When the ability is activated, every normal attack in the next two seconds deals additional magic damage. For each target Kilgroth hits, will restore his HP. Kilgroth can hit more than three enemies, but will only restore HP up to three times per attack. HP also restores by 150% when Kilgroth's HP is less than 50%. Note, when Enraged Spear is applied, attack range will get increased equivalent to the third normal attack range increased by the passive. Enraged Spear enhances Kilgroth's endurance. When Kilgroth is running low, he can use Enraged Spear to kill neutral creeps to recover and get back to battles. Ultimate Gorelord Gorelord immediately provides Kilgroth with four stacks of Sea Spear, removes control effects, and makes Kilgroth temporarily immune to them in six seconds. Gorelord also increases Kilgroth's moving speed but will reduce progressively afterwards. You can activate this ability when an enemy is trying to control you or activate it before entering a battle to ensure stable damage. As a warrior, Kilgroth has limited attack range and is not suitable for clearing waves. He can be easily suppressed in battle lanes. Therefore, jungling will be a good choice for Kilgroth. Since Sea Spear has a very long cooldown, Kilgroth should level Enraged Spear first to speed up farming and recover himself whenever needed. Kilgroth is great for melee, but should be careful to not get kilted by his foes. Using Sea Spear to slow enemies down can create a favorable battleground. In the mid and late game, it is key to use Gorlord's anti-control effect to trick enemies' control abilities. Kilgroth can use Sea Spear to initiate the attack, then trade Gorlord with enemies' control abilities to ensure teammates' damage. Lock up the win. Thanks for watching today's episode. See you again next time.